Uh, howdy folks. Here's a second video I wanted to make for today. So, still over at the Corkscrew Nature Sanctuary at the moment. But now, we finally have started to get in to the ancient forest of the bald cypress trees. We have finally reached to it. So, you figure these bald cypress trees that we see tell us so many stories. If only they could talk to us in the English language. But you have to figure these trees have been here probably even since the time of when, well, settlement was taking place. So these trees most likely saw the Calusa culture as well as the Seminole culture. So these trees even existed prior to English settlement. These probably even saw the Spaniards too who once explored this area. So to point out, you might be wondering what this is. It looks something like a vine. It's actually known as a strangler fig. This is a neat thing that they do. They initially, you know, kind of act as like a, an epiphyte, right? So they grow on a particular tree. In this case, the bald cypress. So what it'll eventually do is it will extend downwards. And in the process, part of the plant will wrap around the tree. And then we eventually grow to a point of where it takes root into the soil. And then eventually it will just, may it may even take down this tree in due time, in a matter of, you know, a few more decades from now. But they call it a strangler fig because it essentially strangles the tree and will eventually knock it over. Naturally, of course. But that is the strangler fig. It is also the host tree to the sphinx moth which has been believed to be one of the only pollinators for the one and only ghost orchid that is found here. Ghost orchid is one of the most endangered and rare orchids found in the world, especially in this part of Florida. I'll be sure to like provide a link or even a picture if possible, but they're so rare because they were highly poached in the past. And with that being said, you know, they're just harder to find now. But the sphinx moth, as I was mentioning, was believed for the longest time to be the only pollinator. But actually, point in fact, we also have something called a fig sphinx moth. Too, which is also a separate type of moth that is actually the pollinator. The sphinx moth does not. It just visits, robs the pollen. But, yeah, you can find them out here. And the bald cypress trees are the host plant. But here it kind of talks a bit about Guy Bradley. He was one of the famous uh, individuals who came from this area. Back in this part of Florida, there used to be a lot of plume hunting. And so common birds such as the rosate spoonbill or even the snowy egret were commonly sought after in terms of their feathers. Because a lot, a lot of people back then, especially women, they used the feathers as a fashion in a sense, for their clothing. But Guy Bradley, he was one of those hunters, but he realized he, you know, as it became illegal, he had a change of heart. And so he actually was one of the first rangers of this part of Florida, and he protected, like, millions of acres in this part of Florida. So you figure from Naples all the way over to Miami. So, 
is very important. And it also talks a bit about Rhett Green, who is another individual here. You guys can pause and read if you so desire. But yeah. And it's also remarkable to think, like, the water that is here, you know, that is in here. Water is never new. There's never new water. Whatever water we have on our planet was what was started. So you figure, you know, at some point, the water that might be coming out of our shower or even our sink, who knows? Maybe at one point, that water could have been dinosaur pee. You know, not to <laughs> just to be a bit funny. But it is true. Water has goes through the water cycle and is constantly recycled, you know, in terms of, you know, weathering and evaporation, condensation. All water at some point, you know, belonged somewhere else. And that's just what's so remarkable about nature, you know. But yeah, bald cypress trees up to 500 years old. Isn't that amazing or what? Yeah, it's all right, mates. Hey, I thought I would share that with you guys. Hope you uh, learned something of value in this video. As I said, I am loving this place, truly. Wow. It's like, you know, seeing something new, it just gives you that hype. And I highly recommend a visit, you guys. It's all right, mates. Take care, and once again, Darnayana Journey is outwards. Take care, folks.